This is our 2019 Heart of the, Ville, Heart of the Hill Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, made just over 340 cases of this one. It is aged for about two years and 70% new French oak. Um, and this is actually all oak fermented. So about half of this um, gets fermented for about just over a week in one of our oak tanks and half is fermented in our 500 liter ro roller barrels. I think Heart of the Hill Vineyard um, has fit a nice little place in our lineup. Um, for me, it's always a good blend of kind of that elegance and um, it's a really pretty wine, kind of like our Seal de Cheval lineup of wines but it has a nice um, mixture of nice concentration and power, like uh, stuff that we see out of our Quintessence Vineyard and Estate Wines. Yeah, so I think if you looked at all the single vineyard Cabernets that we make, it's, yeah, I'd, I'd push it more towards the Seal de Cheval. It's, you know, elegant, really, you know, fruity, still, still a uh, significant concentration and there's some black fruit there and almost, almost like, a little bit of like tea like I mm -hmm. like it, but in a good in a good way but it leans a little bit more that way than you know we get into our state and the black wood and the quintessence um, but you're right I think you know they're not all the same so um, and we're able to then release it a little sooner as well that's why it's in the one of these um, you know in the first re release mm -hmm. of the year so uh, Definitely a fun, fun Cabernet. Yeah. Just like the Malbec, it just has an awesome aroma to it. I'm getting some of those like dried tea leaves, which is really pretty. Has some bright red fruit and uh, a little bit of that barrel aroma, barrel sweetness. Really great. This would be really great with food and not always having to be like the big piece of you know red meat this might go you know with some really good red sauces and mm -hmm. you know like leg of lamb or something like that rather than you know the other the opposite of that so yeah i think it's kind of easy to pair all of our wines that we make with steak <laughs> so it tastes delicious but it's nice to get a little more creative than that <laughs> that's nice really fine grained uh dusty tannin structure yeah, which is you know, classic Red Mountain, but not overly tannic for such a young wine. I think this is one that you could honestly, if you popped it open and decanted it for a good 30 minutes or an hour or something that you could enjoy in its youth. Yeah, and I think these wines are gonna, it seems like they're gonna age out well, the, the 19s, you know, I will say that. Just from coming back now and trying them again after a while on the release here, I'd say really, really should be able to lay these down more so than maybe some of our most recent vintages for sure. Yeah, I think so too. Is there another vintage that you would, you know, maybe compare the 19s to in recent memory? I, maybe, maybe, you know, to a certain extent, I like the 17s because of the way that they uh, were able to age out and we had a different vintage than other people, but also looking back, maybe 13, mm -hmm. which, you know, right now, if you have 13s, we've, we've seen those as far as what we're selling library wines at the tasting room really showing well. And this might be kind of right there with the 13s, I think. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Cheers. Cheers.